mention in a few areas we can talk about later. But I essentially wanted to share some perspective on what's the journey that brought us here and why so. Right. So while congratulations to all the winners, can we have a big round of applause for all the winners once again? But it started actually very, very long back. Uh, I just wanted to uh, share with you the passion that we all gather from uh, Mr. Shibulal and Mrs. Kumar Shibulal in doing this through the Adler Foundation because the history goes back to their early efforts at setting up a, uh, a special school for uh, for undergraduate students called Ankur. So many of you visited today. Uh, did you like to visit Ankur? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, and. Uh, you can meet some of the children who have been there for a decade now and who are now actually getting into uh, a different stage of life. Uh, that is such an inspiring feeling that you can actually transform the life of a child in front of you. Uh, and so, so that entire thought process that you could do something like Ankur and all the other guests who are not familiar with Ankur, uh, this is a special initiative uh, that was uh, uh, preceded the, the whole thought process uh, in the early days in setting up a school where uh, we could have uh, some of the most underprivileged children come and live there and be mentored, be developed, and be taken into the mainstream school system, which led to the creation of the Samhita uh, set of schools, now there are three of them. Uh, the whole, so so I, what I want to share was it's a continuum. Uh, if, you, if you think of, take a high level view, understand it's a continuum, and I'm just trying to draw that continuum from Ankur, you come to Samhita where some of the children start mixing into the uh, mainstream of education so that they can understand how to uh, lead their lives uh, in, uh, in the way all of us are accustomed to living our lives. Um, and then it goes on to develop and then uh, the other foundation uh, goes on to uh, develop two scholarships. Uh, one is called Vidyadha, which is uh, meant for um, very meritorious but highly underprivileged children to actually pursue higher education uh, it's a great platform for people to come together and make education for these children possible. Uh, and of course, as the children in the Samhita Academy mature over time, they also have a logical path to be meritorious and pursue this route. Uh, and an offshoot of that came out in the context of another scholarship scheme called Vidya Raksha, uh, which essentially is a, a scholarship for uh, children of uh, the deceased paramilitary uh, forces um, and uh, the whole objective there was that while there are a lot of systems that focus on the armed forces, but not much attention is paid to the children of the deceased parliamentary forces. And just yesterday, uh, I saw some interesting pictures on Facebook, which our colleagues have put up. She was in Delhi, uh, and so was Kumari and the family, where they gave away the scholarships to, uh, if I remember my numbers, actually 482 uh, children uh, who are children of deceased parliamentary forces, along with the Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh, and it was a great uh, uh, culmination of process. And as this is all happening, uh, Shibu and Kumari and the foundation is thinking, how do we make this sustainable? How do we bring this into hundreds of schools because they can only do N schools, but there are lots and lots of children in this country who need this. And so the focus a few years ago, uh, to be precise, in about 2014, 15 time frame, started fixing the same. We have to help school leaders step up to do these kind of things. They have to show their leadership, not just managing schools. Managing schools is easier than leading and not caring about the community around you. And you saw some of the things that our, our winners said in their videos that you have to worry about the people around you. You have to look at what's happening in the community and bring them into, into your uh, school. And this should be happening in thousands and thousands of schools. Uh, and hence the idea of NILE got generated. As you know, NILE stands for National Institute for Leadership and Education. It came up as an idea that we will formulate an institution. And, uh, and Shibu has been a very strong believer that leadership is all about learning from practice, and that's why the whole objective was to find out where are these practices. Uh, come the NILE Award, and the entire process of finding all of you, uh, striking the relationship with Learning Leads Foundation, and, uh, and to start to look for where are the leaders and who are doing great things in their schools? Can we learn from them? Uh, can we create that? And can we bring that into some kind of a curriculum 
which can be taught to many other leaders so that they can start getting inspired and start practicing some of these things, which led to the whole genesis of the idea of NAND. Uh, and the award, which was on one end, of course, a great opportunity to recognize some of the greatest people in this room, but also an opportunity to learn from experience, to pick up the practices from the field, to learn what these are, to curate them and make them available to many more leaders. And like I said in the morning when we were doing the workshop in Samita, that uh, this is just the beginning. We will be back with you. Uh, all of you have done a great job. And that brings a great responsibility to teach many other leaders. And as the institute evolves, we will uh, collaborate further. Uh, and so that brings us to the point where we are today. Uh, what ahead, I will talk a little later. But essentially, we are here today celebrating on one end the excellence that all of you have shown, and on the other hand, we have a great uh, uh, so say objective uh, and a very important responsibility to learn from your practices, uh, to learn from what you have successfully executed, and make it available to many others who are trying to make a difference in their respective schools in different parts of the country. Uh, India has 1.5 million schools, and we have a very small number in this room. And so how do you actually make that possible? How do you take it out? And so this award it has two objectives. One is to recognize some of the best, uh, and at the same time, create that as a platform to learn from the best and then help others develop. So I thought I would just share this with you uh, as a context as to why we have awards uh, and what's the bigger objective, uh, not only for us, but for all of you, because because of your excellence, you also have the responsibility to share it with people who could use this and bring a difference to the lives of many of the children. So thank you so much for being with us today, Ethan, and uh, let the discussion and the, the proceedings continue. Uh, and all the very best. And I will hand it over back to Kushbu uh, to take us through the rest of the proceedings quickly. Thank you.